Here again with another UFC predictions video as we have UFC 289 on Saturday, June 10th. Just going to get my predictions for the main card. And remember that the card is subject to change, which it already has changed. Juliana Pena is no longer in the main event. And I know that this card was already weak, looking weak at least, and now it looks even weaker on paper. You never know. The fight cards that I don't end up ordering are the craziest ones. So that's why I order every fight card. Last one I missed was uh, Habib versus Dustin Poirier, simply due to the fact that I was out of town. Otherwise, I would have ordered that one. I'm actually surprised I didn't order it on my phone. I guess I had other things going on. But uh, you never know. And think of it this way. People complain about the price of the events if they're not you know, that great of a card. And that there's some truth to that. But look at this. You know, you have stack cards that have amazing fight, amazing fight, amazing fight already on paper that are the same price. So you win some, you lose some. Just remember that. And remember at UFC 288 when Henry Cejudo took on Eljamain Sterling, I was 5-0 and with my prediction. So I definitely have bragging rights for this one. Before I give my predictions a few things, make sure you leave your predictions down in the comments section. Come back to this channel about an hour to an hour and a half after the main card is over with, I should have at least one fight. Well, I will have one fight posted, my reaction to it, assuming there's no copyright strike, which does happen like every four events, I get some random copyright strike for no reason that I have to dispute and wait 30 days for. Sometimes it gets taken care of before that, but usually it makes me wait. And then, of course, I'll have the next fight 24 hours after that. And then if there's more good fights that happen on the card... I'll definitely post my reaction to those and make sure that you subscribe to the channel and join the team and show your support. So let's start things off in the UFC middleweight division. Eric Anders versus Mark andre Berriolt. I'm going to pick Mark andre Berriolt to win this fight. Anders sometimes looks good and then sometimes I shake my head like, what is he doing? Berriolt, I think, has a dog mentality and he somewhat uses it. I think he could be even more vicious, and I think this might be the time that he unleashes a big dog mentality against Sanders. But with that said, it's a fight that really could go either way. I'm simply just giving you my prediction, and honestly, I don't know a lot about both of these guys. I know a little bit more about Anders, but I'm just giving you my prediction. I think that Barry Olt is going to be the better fighter at UFC 289. Next up in the UFC featherweight division, I'm actually looking forward to this one, Nate Landwehr versus Dan Ige. I think Nate Landwehr is going to win. He's actually the underdog currently. Uh, he had a war against David Onama, and uh, he won his last fight as well. And Ige, I've never really all been all that impressed with. I mean, he had some wins, and then he went on a losing streak, and then he won his last fight. Landwehr is a dog, and he might be the next big thing, although he's a little older to be you know, the next big thing at 34 years old. I would have preferred him be in his late 20s at this point, but I, I think he's got a run in him in the featherweight division. I think it starts with beating Dan Ige, which some of you will be like, what are you talking about? Dan Ige is going to slaughter him, and hey, that could happen, but I'm pretty confident in saying that Nate Landwehr is going to win this fight. I think he's an underrated fighter, and people don't really know who he is. But that fight against David Onama was awesome. My only concern, if he gets Dan Ige down on the ground, but Ige's still fine, he's just on the ground, and he just walks and stands away like, get up, I want him to go for the finish right then and there, because that almost cost him the fight against uh, David Onama, uh, that fight night card that they had. So if you haven't watched that fight yet, check it out. But I'm picking Nate Landwehr to win against David or Dan Ige. And then in the welterweight division, we have Adam Fugit versus Mike Malott. It's a fight, honestly, I don't know a lot about these guys. I'll be completely honest. I'm picking Mike Malott to win the fight because I've seen things that he's done that I'm impressed with. I haven't really seen much of Fugit, like highlights that, I don't know, maybe they're just not available, but I haven't seen them, so... If you know more about these guys, certainly give me your analysis in the comments section. I don't know everything about fighting. I have a full-time job. If I ever become a full-time YouTuber, my fight reactions will probably be the, the priority, and I'll start doing even more research. And I do do some research, but, I mean, it's 
I only have so many hours in a day to devote to certain things. But I am going with Mike Malott, the the hometown guy, because this event does take place in Canada. That's not why I'm going with him, but he is the hometown guy. And he is actually the favorite, so I might actually be right on that one. And then in the co-main event of the evening, a fight I've been looking forward to for a pretty long time, we have Benil Dariush versus the former UFC light heavyweight, no, lightweight champion of the world, Charles Oliveira. Right now, Dariush is actually the favorite. I'm picking Charles Oliveira to win this fight. He's beat some dogs. He beat Tony Ferguson. Okay, let's face it, Tony Ferguson isn't Tony Ferguson anymore. He beat Michael Chandler. He beat Dustin Poirier. He beat Justin Gaethje, but then he lost to Islam Makachev. I still think Charles Oliveira is damn impressive. And Dariush, he's kind of a guy that doesn't do anything too flashy, but then ends up winning a fight. I just don't think he can beat Oliveira, if, if, especially if Charles Oliveira is very focused and ready to fight and not dealing with anything that we don't know about. I think he's going to win the fight. Granted, it looks like it's going to be a close one. Who knows? You never know, but I've been looking forward to this one. And barring any injury or anything like that, the winner will probably face Islam Makachev in uh, October's pay-per-view at Fight Island. So I'm going with Charles Oliveira to win, although it wouldn't be that bad to see Benil Dariush to fight Islam because that's a fight I really want to see too. So actually, I'm kind of torn, but I'm still picking Oliveira to win this fight. And then in the main event of the evening, we have the Women's Bantamweight Championship on the line. Irene Aldana gets her shot against the GOAT, the female GOAT, that is, not John Jones, but Amanda Nunes. I'm picking Amanda Nunes to win this fight. It was supposed to be against Juliana Pena for their third fight. I don't think Aldana can win. Of course, look what happened at UFC 285 when Valentina Shevchenko fought Alexa Grasso or Garasso, and Grasso choked the shit out of her. That mark that was on Valentina Shevchenko's chin. I still think Amanda Nunes gets the job done. I think Amanda Nunes is awesome. Juliana Pena, she she got lucky in my opinion. She had a good game plan. It worked. I think they fight 100 times. Juliana Pena wins one time out of every 100. But anything can happen. I'm still picking Amanda Nunes to win the fight simply because you don't want to bet against a person that that's the, that that's that talented in the octagon. So let me know what you think of my predictions. And you can make fun of me for not knowing a lot about some of these fighters that are on the card. I get it. The Mike Malott versus uh, Adam Fugit fight. I get it. That uh, I, I deserve that. So if you want to criticize me in the comment section, I'm all for it. Just make sure you leave your predictions for this fight card or any other fight cards that you want to talk about. Subscribe to the channel, come back to the channel for my reaction videos, and Hulk smash that like button, and JDev will return.